Okay, so we are going to look at the Arduino Nano 33 BLP sets development board. So this is a special microcontroller based uh, development board. So it's a modified version of Arduino Nano. So you basically visit this Arduino store. This is the link uh, from the internet. Uh, check the description of this uh, module also. You have this link available there and it costs about 35 uh, euros uh, for one quantity. But uh, I want to make you aware about the power and the features of this microcontroller board. So this is uh, the board which is called as AI powered board. So artificial intelligence applications, AI. Uh, so it is an AI EQP board. Uh, and you can uh, develop variety of applications. We'll see what those applications are. And this is the tiniest form factor of, uh, device or the development board. Uh, you can have some accessories uh, in addition to the board for which you need to uh, select those. For example, nano screw terminal adapter, there is a Arduino shield, then there is a gravity, uh, 27 pieces sensor set for Arduino. So you'll have 27 pieces of different sensors. Uh, you can also have the USB cable type A, mail to micro type B, ML. So let us first uh, see what this board contains, what sensors it has, what is the kind of microcontroller it is, and what other features of this tiny boards are. So look at the images here. You just click to expand. And this is the backside of this Nano 33 BLE. And uh, if you compare it with the basic uh, Arduino Uno development board, essentially uh, these kind of boards which have come after Arduino Uno, they are all evaluations from the Arduino Uno. So Arduino Uno is the with wire board. You have to have a wire uh, interfaced with the computer in order to take work from that microcontroller board. And the evaluations are nowadays is a wireless, Bluetooth and all that. So this board, Arduino Nano 33B LE Sense is uh, one form of that category. So you see now, this is how the board the package looks like. So it's quite small board uh, with your couple of centimeters and uh, in length and the one centimeter possibly in width and uh, this is another picture where you see these are the ports that are given to the two ends of the boards and quite uh, possibly you can fit this board on your breadboard or pcb so with these connectors you can put these to either side and you can use that and now this is uh, the uh, feature photograph where you can see that it is a Bluetooth enabled board. BLE stands for Bluetooth and there is a chip that is a microcontroller chip is uh, this Nina B3 and that's the special uh, number given and the speed of this uh, microcontroller is 64 megahertz so it's quite powerful in terms of operation uh, that it will perform. It has a good memory of one megabyte flash and uh, you have 256 kilobyte SRAM. So exercise for you, tell me the SRAM and flash capacity of Arduino Uno. And you can easily compare that with your uh, evaluation reports like that. So Arduino Uno, just check out what was the RAM of that and check out what was the flash. I think 32 kilobytes was the RAM of Arduino Uno. And uh, accordingly check the flash. Now there are interfaces. So USB, SPI, I2C, I2S, UART, all these are also available with Arduino Uno. It can operate with five volt and 3.3 volt and 4.5 to 21 volts. So, uh, that is for USB 5 volt. This is uh, for operating and that's for the input range 4.5 to 21 volt. Uh, 14 digital pins it has. Six pins are for P pulse width modulation and eight, are eight pins are for analog inputs. 
and dimension is just 18 by 45 millimeter. Now let's have an overview of this board and we'll see what this board contains. So uh, this board, microcontroller board without the headers, uh, you don't have a header with this, is the AI enabled board in a smallest available form factor. It's a completely new board in the Arduino family and it has a series of embedded sensors. So what sensors it has, we'll see that. So it has nine axis inertia sensors. Let us look, have a look at this picture right here. So we'll see what the sensors are and where those sensors are. So, <clears throat> so you see now this uh, green bar indicates the green uh, borderline across uh, forming a square that shows it has a temperature sensor, uh, humidity sensor and the pressure sensors in this box. Then the red one indicates, the red boundary indicates it has a color sensor, brightness sensor, proximity sensors, and the gesture sensor. Then the blue boundary indicates it has a digital microphone placed at this position of the board. And this is your microcontroller, which is ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller, and it is embedded with the Bluetooth module also. So, all these sensors uh, are being shown right there. And the orange one shows uh, motion, vibration, and orientation sensor. So in the motion sensor category, it has a nine axis inertia sensor, which makes the board very ideal for the wearable device applications. Uh, it has a humidity and the temperature sensors uh, right sitting in this box as I explained, to get the highly accurate measurement for the environmental condition, for example. Uh, it has a pressure sensor called as barometric sensor. So you can simply make a simple weather station and we see the barometric sensor is uh, sitting right here. And then there are gesture, proximity, light sensor, intensity sensors and that estimates the room's luminosity and uh, also tells us whether the someone is moving close to the board. So that's a proximity sensor. So, uh, so you see there are a variety of uh, possibilities uh, to be developed and applications. So it's basically an evaluation of traditional Arduino Nano, and, but it has a lot more powerful uh, microcontroller. And that microcontroller is NRF. 52840 and it has a it is a 32 bit arm cortex m4 cpu running at 64 megahertz so i do know uno is just an 8 bit microcontroller but this is a 32 bit it means it can handle the data and the operation with a 32 bit capacity all operations instruction executions will be done at 32 bit data transfer will be taken place at the 32 bit capacity and the speed is uh, 64 milli megahertz so with this uh, larger capacity you can make larger programs as compared to arduino uno uh, remember arduino uno has one mega uh, 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 remember the the memory of this uh, Arduino Nano 33 BLE sense is one megabyte uh, program memory. So which is 32 bits bigger. Okay, and uh, uh, there are a lot many variables also you can do that. And uh, the main and the main feature of this board is that it is it is equipped with the powerful BLE Bluetooth model. And uh, it, this board also features ultra low power consumption. So now uh, another feature of this board is that it is uh, embedded artificial artificial intelligence uh, equipped board. So uh, there is a possibility that you can run the edge computing applications such as AI application using tiny ML. That is the machine le learning development platform. Uh, we are not going to talk about that right now here. Uh, but you can create your machine learning models using uh, the software such as TensorFlow. Uh, that's the that's the another topic to be discussed. And then once you develop your machine learning algorithms, you can upload it to your board, such as this. 
uh, using uh, using Arduino IDE. You can use the Arduino software and then you can just upload your machine learning model uh, to these boards. So that was, uh, there is a tutorial also. Uh, you can click the link here to get the introductory tutorial to AI on this board, specific to this board. And you can also read the advanced guide on the color detection, uh, just to see a developer specific application. So let's have a technical specification of this Arduino Nano 33 Bluetooth Sense board, uh, which is based on this uh, NRF528400 microcontroller. So that's your microcontroller name. You can click here to uh, explore the data sheet of this microcontroller. So operating voltage of this board is 3.3 volt. Uh, it can have the maximum 21 volt of input to apply to this board. That's the limit. Uh, it it has a DC current or input output pin about 15 milliampere. It has a speed of 64 megahertz. CPU flash memory is one megabyte. That's a programming memory. And your RAM is 256 kilobyte. Uh, EPROM, it doesn't feature EPROM uh, for this board. And there are 14 digital IO pins. All digital pins uh, are the PWM pins. Uh, which you can use. And then these are UART, SPI, I2C is the peripheral to have one each. Uh, there are eight analog input pins. So, and the, it has an ADC of about 12 bit capacity and with the 200 kilo sample sampling speed. It has a analog output pins uh, only through PWM. There is no DAC. So you can use the PWM as an output for the analog uh, world. External inputs are there. All digital pins can be used for external input. There are pin number 13 is built-in LED for this uh, microcontroller board. There is a USB port given to this board. IMU, microphone, gesture, barometric pressure sensor, temperature, humidity, all these are six types of sensors. They are already there on the simple board you can have their data sheet if you click these links. So these uh, sensors have been integrated inside your microcontroller board. So you can see that our smartphone also has IMO microphone. You have a light uh, sensor, by a pressure sensors, temperature, humidity, all sensors are also, also inside the smartphone. So why not use or consider it for some applications? So these are the physical dimension of the board, 45 millimeter, 18, millimeter and uh, it just carries a weight of uh, five grams. So it's quite light also. Uh, just scroll down a bit and see the documentation for this board. So you see now these uh, files have been given to you. That's the Eagle files. That's the PCB software files. You have a schematic files and fritzing and all this and data sheet also. So what it means, the Arduino Nano 33 Bluetooth Sense is an open source hardware. It means you can build your own board using this microcontroller. And for that, you need to use these files. So you can easily refer to these files, for example, schematic and the PCB and build your own board because it's an open source. So click on the schematic and see this is your microcontroller and there are other chips which are being placed and you can refer to this uh, schematic. Here is a connector and accordingly you can just uh, build your own board. So it's pretty simple. Get these off the shelf components and the ICs from the market, place them on the board and uh, you, you are ready with this uh, particular board on your own. Click on the PCB file and uh, it will ask you to down, uh, save it to some section of your computer, just then open it and you see what kind of files you have. So you have the BRD and .sch. So BRD is the PCB file. So if you have Eagle software already installed on your computer, you can just click it to open the file and see the PC layout uh, of this particular board. Otherwise you need to download it first. 
So a data sheet, just click here and uh, this will load the Arduino uh, data sheet for this particular board. It's the miniaturized uh, module and it tells us about, tell you about the features, uh, the microcontroller, Bluetooth features, the peripherals and everything uh, is there. So you can just refer to this data sheet if you are interested in more. You can see that how the board operation is given, how to use the Arduino web editor, Arduino cloud environment, and everything is given right here. So we just go and uh, scroll, it, scroll it down a bit. We'll see what this data sheet contains. And here is the pin diagram of the Arduino Nano board. So you can just uh, try to zoom in this portion and see that where is your ground? Uh, all these colors indicates which pin is what. So here is a ground, then the power supply pins, uh, that is five volt, 3.3 volt, that's given. The LED built-in LED is indicated by green and this uh, orange lines indicates your digital pins and uh, the LO1 are the microcontroller ports. Uh, similarly, you have analog pins uh, indicated by the red boundary square and there are other pins also. So just have a look. You can also click the PDF to have a PDF uh, version of this uh, pinout for this uh, Arduino board. So just have a look at and before you program the com and configure your hardware. Make sure that you are aware of the pin diagrams and all these things. So here is the bottom part uh, looks like, and you need to be aware with uh, which pins you are using. You here see the sensor uh, that have been placed here. We can actually see uh, the orientation of the sensors and all that. So here some details have been also given for the sensor. So for example, in this area, you see there is a sensor, uh, IMU sensor, pressure sensor, microphone. Then you have a digital proximity, ambient light sensors and all that. So take these lines and look at their pin configuration, how to use these uh, sensors along with the microcontroller. Here is the bottom side of this uh, board where you can actually see uh, to different pins, uh, some information linked to the different pins. So that's all for the data sheet, uh, pinout diagram for this microcontroller board.